We have Crypto Aria, we have Shane. He's demoing it. My friend from the Mega City Elite City. Oh, hey, how you hey, doing? Let's get a hug. It's good to see you. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah, this is awesome. It's very cool. Yeah, it's Last minute flight. Last minute flight, couldn't miss it. <laughs> of course. Thank you. Oh. But yeah, anyway, I guess the, the other flip side is you guys get the first kind of hands on of YouTube you want. Yeah. Can't wait to play. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, like the main purpose of the demo is just to show that we have in fact created this world because there's a lot of, yeah. even after all the videos we've released, there's all this speculation that it's, uh, it's uh, all pre-rendered, cloaking, you know, They want to know, can Drew be Aria score? Jeez, I don't know. Oh, Drew, oh, here we go. how good are you? What was your score? score? <laughs> With a plasma. Let's see here. Jump right in. Look at this, hi, Drew. Look at all the detail. A lot of people are kind of. A lot of people have commented on just how complicated it is to get this, get this apple trees. I get a screen for a second. This part is going. Oh, so. Tropical savannah. Shane's going in to get one of the mini games in. You can see. Um, like this is just one example, but you can kind of see how our biome system detects different areas. So you can see how, like closer to the shoreline, it gets a bit greener. You might have some different kind of shrubs and stuff that, you know, the, the grass is a little bit greener as you go away from it, and it gets drier. So there's a lot of these things that we Sheets of grass. when we were um, designing all of this. Getting a zoom in. Look at that. You can see coordinates on the map near the cursor. You gotta remember this is a global scale. This isn't like a, a small map to play. It is a global scale. So we spent a lot of time optimizing to get it to a point where. A lot of time optimizing. The visual parameters. Uh, to the point where the visual data is reasonable in case you can't, you can't hear. You can't, um, you can't get that thing across on a video. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's so much more detailed than first person. Are you able to get some vehicles on there, Shane? Oh, yeah. Nice. So we got to balance the physics. Um, Balancing physics. <laughs> and are you able to switch it out really 
easily or do you have to go into a different menu? Uh, is it no, preset? This is still very much like a dev setup, so we've got a lot of hotkeys. Okay. Just to, uh, okay. The, the hotkey list is here. If you, oh, nice. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of different hotkeys to do a lot of different things. Um, Take a screenshot, guys. But yeah, I mean, we've got side droids as well. Actually, like one thing I like to do is just fly side droids through the through the trees. I think on. Um, on, on uh, property, it could be a thing just setting up uh, checkpoints and racing. So you imagine, you imagine we add some rockets or shooting to the side droids. Oh, so different... they actually have their own standalone kind of system. Yeah. Nice. So, so, um, and is that player controlled, or do they have like autonomous kind of settings that they level up? Uh, no, this is all like I'm controlling it here. So, nice. Uh, yeah. It's harder than it looks, but I do like I like flying. Um, just get lost doing this type of thing. You need to be one. There's just so many possibilities. Uh, beautiful. Even though it's, it's simplistic. Can it fly up to yeah, the night sky all the way up? You can go. I mean, this will take a very long time. <laughs> you, you can fly anywhere. Uh, you can change to the, the, the jet. Nice. So there are hockey like programs to uh, switch into the, the different yeah. vehicles. Hockeys are basically keys that are pre-programmed to nice. do certain commands. It's nice flying through the Alps. So this is the Yeah, it doesn't even it doesn't even translate, right? When you see it on video versus first hand. It really looks good now. So be right next yeah, but the point is, it's like a global scale. So. Right, and each tile is geolocationally tied to the real world yeah. locations. I, which, I love coming oh. up over the peaks. <laughs> Pacey wanted you to fly over Mint, and yeah, I, I, I are will. we able to use EPLs right now, or not yet? No, no. Okay. So, Coordinates? Or is it just yeah, you kind of fly in from it. up top? Get out. Uh, yeah, you can While he's doing that, you can you take a look at the hot keys really again. Full depth, yeah. Um, hang on, let me. Uh, yeah, somebody asked me like the Marriott Express or something. Yeah, we don't we don't have those full depths. Um, <laughs> oh, look yeah, at that water. Can change, uh, can change like the time of day, all in real time. Get, that's how we get the really nice shots. So if um, you change the time of day, is that like on a global scale or does each player have the ability to... Yeah, inside, so when we when we have E2B1 launched um, as like a multiplayer version, then that will be like a, a fully dynamic system where the days and nights will cycle. Okay. Inside it, it'll be like set as a cycle. Uh, at this point in time, probably thinking about six hour day night cycles. To get three hours a day, three hours a night cycles, to get four days in one. Just because people have busy schedules, they might not be up to play. Yeah. You don't want people at some point always logging in. They can only log in at night, and then it's always night. You know, yeah, yeah. You want to have that day experience. But it, it, it's, it's very much a work in progress. So if it becomes something that you know we want to change over time, there's always that opportunity for us to adjust. Oh, look. And yeah, this. Lewis, you actually got a little bit of back the skin. Ah, there he is. There's some, um, some skins here as well. Just that print quality oh, is what you do. Look at that. Nice. I think you've got a few of those, don't you, Drew? I've got 50, yes, sir. <laughs> Jolly Roger, 
Robin, Seiko, <coughs> they all want to go take a look at Tobago. Tobago. Pirate Island in Tobago. So sure. I have to... Hold on. I have to... So the EPL system isn't set up yet, but Shane's going to try and do a workaround. Just for you guys. Let me, um... So where are we going? Tobago. And don't forget Pacey as well. And then... Twin Islands. All right, so you just type it in. Well, I, I just um, we don't have that. Later, we will. You'll be able to search inside okay. of the one. He's doing a workaround. What is your favorite spot in the one? Myself. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't know so far. Um, <laughs> I just like yeah. I just like kind of. A, Dropping in and experiencing. Everything. Everything. Uh, so yeah. let's get a. Oh, wait. Okay, open it. Guys, I'm sorry about the quality of the audio. Okay, so how do you. How do you usually you can um, right click. Oh, there we go. But I think it's reversed sometimes. Yeah. So then we paste from the Google. There we go. Uh, and as I said, like we, I did start to show some of the biomes before. They haven't been painted accurately yet. They're just demonstrations because obviously this is a, a long-term work in progress. With all these biomes. Um, but yeah, this is Tobago. Is there anything they wanted to see? Do they, they want to see their tiles? Or, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, if you could. So, okay. yeah, so how does that translate to what we're seeing there? Can you go to a specific? player property. Yeah, so what I'll do and is, City. just to make it a bit easier to see the tiles, I'll turn the uh, trees off. Oh! And then I'll um, load the... It's uh, turning the trees off so it's easier to see. So whereabouts would the tiles be? Here, son. Okay. Oh, there you go. That evolves, E2 evolves area. Look at that skull. There you go, Dan. <laughs> I love it. I, I really enjoy seeing the, um, you know, the nostalgic flag tiles on the E2 yeah, one terrain. Strange. It's pretty cool. And obviously you get much better view distances than on the, um, the, the website map that we have. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get a chance? Elite City. Yeah, any what well, you you just you, so where where else are we looking? Mink, Minsk, was it? Yeah, Minsk. That's where Pacey is. Yeah, Pacey and Shun City are coming up. And there's like a body of water there that he wanted you to catch. Okay. Let's see if I can so see look, it. Look, you got all these <laughs> roads. It's quite interesting. You got a yeah up to a lake here. I think probably once E two V one goes live, people will be like, oh, geez, I. I really like this spot. It's got a really nice act, view. Can you click and see like player info? No, no. no. Um, okay. We can on another version. We can, but I think we've just turned it off for this one. Usually, if I if I leave the mouse cursor there, it'll pop up. But uh, I think we must have disabled it for this build for some reason. I don't know why. So this is a demo build. Oh, you got E2 pirates. Ah, look at that. But you can you can Joey. see how. You can see how quick it loads, like, the, you know, the, the optimization is just phenomenal. Jolly ride. Roger, I should say. There it is. Yeah, this is very, oh, this is the main one. This is, here there we you go. go. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. He's got his skull everywhere across E2. Have you noticed that, Shane? Wow, look at the density of all of these tiles. It's nice to be in real life, right? Yeah, it is. Are you able to go into a 3D view from here, or is it on a 3D already, but zoomed out? Yes. There you go. That so looks I've got good. the tree. If I, I can turn the trees on, but it's just you can't oh. see the flags as well That's because cool. the, you know the trees kind of yeah. So you turn it off, like you know this view looks pretty cool with all the flags. You can see all the yeah, that looks awesome. So what kind of computer is this running on? Uh, Do you have the is, latest NVIDIA card? No, 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 this is, this is a 3080. Oh, so nice. 3080 and it's on, it's on the top uh, specs, so everything is up. 
Um, but you know, as I said, I've I've, I've run it on a 2080 at home with a lower lower settings. And it's a fun. And you can play. Okay, so 2080 works just as well. This is a 3080. This is a 3080. It's not even a 40. A 4090. Not works. even the latest yeah. one. So that's pretty good. Most can't. Most laptops yeah. can handle it. And I'll tell you guys something. Okay, so. Um, this is running, this isn't even running off uh, SSD at the moment. Really? Oh. This is running off a USB stick plugged into the USB. No way. Yeah, this is off a USB. <laughs> wow. I, I, didn't want to put, I didn't want to leave the build on the PC. Wow. Yeah. So this isn't even running well, how off How is it that optimized, SSD. right? Cause That's we've, crazy. Because, you know, we've spent a lot of time working on it. It's highly optimized. Yeah, it so, is. So... Yeah, it Look is. at the detail on the house. This is running off of a USB, guys. Yeah, it's not even off of the SSD hard drive. The curvature. It's beautiful. Wow, right? it is so amazing. I'm already it's very I'm smooth. Here and I'm more <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. People don't know yet. Tile Tiles and water. <laughs> oh, it looks better at night. Oh, yeah, Ooh, night. night time. I mean, it, looks, night. it looks cool at There's night. The There's here. a Kraken. So does this demo have multiplayer yet, or is this just uh, the beginning? So we, so we have multiplayer. Um, oh. So can all three of us log in? They told us that they weren't going to have an internet connection here. Oh, so how about if I give you a, a hotspot? No, we didn't. We didn't prepare the multiplayer bill. Ah, for that reason. okay. And then, like when I got here, they said, "Oh, actually, we did get internet." So, um, yeah, that was kind of a bit frustrating. But even having said that. The internet here is really, really bad. As ironic as it sounds, because this is like GDC. Yeah, yeah, the, right. the, the yeah. internet here, like, um, we have a caching system for the satellite images that you saw before. So, so caching basically is put into the history. Caches, um, automatically. However, so it's faster load. Uh, areas where the, the satellite hasn't been cached, I'll show you soon. You know, it takes like in my hotel it's instant, but here it takes like you know a few seconds or it, like even sometimes it doesn't even load. So the internet connection is not not the best. Therefore, you know, multiplayer probably wouldn't have been a good right. experience. Right. Uh, so where do you have a uh, you do the Grand Canyon yet? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know where Mix is? Uh, well, let's do Mix and yeah, let's first. do Shun City for um, KC. Okay, so going to win. So just remember the EPL isn't Valeris? Valeris. live yet, so Shane's just doing a workaround. Aha, uh -huh. he wanted to see if well, you I'll just get the coordinates. We got a Oh that's right, you have to get the coordinates here. There you go, Pacey. Oh, it's so smooth. It just runs so good. It's beautifully so smooth. Cool. This isn't even on. You can even see all the mentors. Drive, so. Where did he want to see specifically? Or? If you zoom out, let me see. Well, this. Oh, it'll turn off. If you zoom out, there was um, a body of water that I saw that he wanted. I think it was that one. Yeah, I think so. Something going on there? Well, so if I, uh, I'll turn the trees on again, so, and maybe I'll just turn the off. Oh, wow. Look, you just drop right in and it changes. Ah! No pew pews! Oh no, the gun went away. No more pew pews yet. You're attacking Shun City. <laughs> You're being invaded. Oh, nice. He can fly with his hands. So is that part of the avatar, or is that an add-on that we would that have to buy for the skin? Like, not, not buying. Uh, that'll be something you you play the game and craft. Really? And then, yeah. Oh. I mean, even the skins, they're just cos cosmetic. So you know, right. a lot of this stuff that you see, like even the guns and stuff like that, it'll all be about crafting and, and making it yourself. I've mentioned in chat quite a few times, you guys, have, the skins, the quality of them are just amazing. I was 
so much yeah, buying so many towels all the time. And those and then these come out. I can't <laughs> yeah. get this any of them. They um so this yeah the skins and they they're like highly optimized as well. So yeah. So is he able to have a side rod with him right now, or would it just switch to a side rod basically? Oh no, like this is just a this is like a just a game dev mode playing around. So inside the game, like you've got a side droid, you know, you might be able to control it and fly around in it. It's not going to be like the just for this kind of version. So it launches a mini game basically. Sorry. So basically launches a mini game within R2 and you're in a different yeah, kind of is, scenario. Yeah, this is kind okay. of just this is just something to demo the capabilities. Okay. So inside of it, like your journey would start. You've got a mentor. You synthesize your avatar, and then you appear in it. Yeah. And then there will be like steps. Uh, so the from the mentor. Yeah, right. Like those MMRPGs. Like from EPL, you start at the mentor. You start at the mentor. You start at the mentor. You start at the so, and, and I mean, like, obviously I've used this a lot, but I'm not as talented as the devs. They, if they were here, they'd be having, like, all these different things, showing you fog in real time, and I, I just... You How know, do you... Ha I'm not is it, so all of the commands are basically in this? Yeah, is, does that include... Does that, yeah. that include the fog? Yeah. Let's see what it is. Yeah, Can anyone... In that one video when you guys shift, were playing around Shift that one to nine, I think. With the... Were you, like, jumping for... Trying to get the ether? Oh yeah, I can show that. I think it's shift one okay. through nine yeah, for atmospheric that. density. Oh, that's atmospheric density. Oh, the clouds. You can see it's kind of changing. But the fog doesn't come down. What? Yeah. Sure. Hmm. Let <laughs> Can you throw a beach ball? Oh yeah. I see that here. Okay, let me, um, let me find, I want to throw it over here. Did you hear your, your new nickname? I call you uh, Shave Isaac. <laughs> what is it? Shave Isaac. Uh, shave Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> So they, there's your beach balls. They have beach balls. And does that have a specific purpose? Sorry? Does that it's just to test, test buoyancy and, you know, see the, the water's My falling. daughter noticed that. She said, look yeah. at the way they fall. Yeah, just She's like eight. She noticed it right away. She physics, said it's a real so, you know, like, um, because, you Spawn know, it's a all... boat. I see a spawn a boat here. Okay. I'm going to just throw commands at you <laughs> from your sheet here. Uh, there we go. <gasps> Spawn a spaceship. Yeah, I, I will, I will. Um, but yeah, I mean, just just to say one more thing here. Campfire. When we, when I launched, they asked for campfires. When, okay, well, uh, when I launched Earth two, we launched with a um, an obviously like pre-rendered marketing video that uh, I'm sure you're all aware of. Or, you yes. know, remember? Yeah. But okay. since then, since then. Uh, you know, you learn a little bit about these things. Since then, we haven't showed any pre-rendered anything. Everything that we've shown is all real-time. I'm very specific about that. I don't want to show things that are not real or not actually developed. Um, yeah, so it's just ironic that we get picked on a lot for apparently, you know, faking things when I've actually yeah, been... Yeah, this is happening real-time. There's no denying yeah, it. Yeah, I've been, I've been, right here. I've been so specific and so focused on making sure that we don't show anything that we don't have. Yep. Uh, whereas a lot of companies, they do. They, they make pre-rendered pre hype videos with all these like amazing graphics and then you get in and it's like, well, hey, this this isn't what the, 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 the uh, demo looked like. Uh, yeah, so I've been at the op opposite end of the spectrum. I, I really prefer to show something that we have working operational inside of the world before it gets demonstrated in like so a video. How does it feel knowing that everyone's seeing this happening live when everyone said this wasn't even possible? Yeah, it's, well, you <laughs> it know, must be feeling really good. It does, feel, it does feel good. I'm a very 
I use the word stubborn a lot, but I've been told I should use driven. So I'm a very yeah. driven person. Um, you know, when I set my mind to something, I want to see it through and see it achieve. So. I agree. Definitely. Shane says he's a very driven person, yeah. Yeah. not stubborn. Hopefully you're hearing everything properly. Yeah. So, Sorry if I sound like a frog. Yeah. Um, but if I, okay, so if I, Spaceships. <laughs> Look at this, guys. It says you can spawn all these things with these hotkeys. So he's doing it basically on the fly as we ask him to do it. Definitely not rendered because I didn't even know we could do these until just now. Uh, I think there's some properties down here. You can also spawn fish. So it's yeah, not yeah. pre-populated. Or no, it is no, pre-populated. No, 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 it's not pre So combination there's, no, there's nothing like, there's no consistency in any of those kind of things at the moment. They're, they're just tested. It's okay. Like fish and stuff like that, we spawn them. Um, What's the plan though? They're working. That type of consistency will come later. That needs to be like uh, work, like the back end needs to be uh, built for that type of thing, and, and make sure that we're kind of gauging like where the fish are, where they should spawn. So, and, if uh, you yeah. have pre-spawned fish, will the players in the future also be able to spawn things on their own properties, like more fish? Yeah, this is a this is part of like a bigger solution that we need to find over time is this consistency and how how things appear, when they appear, why they appear. Yeah. Um, so they so, won't... So inside like a dev mode like we have here, yeah, you can play around and right. things. But obviously inside the actual, the concept of Earth 2 and E2v1, obviously uh, you have like a there set has number. to be rules around it, when you can do it, why you can do it, how you can do it. It's not like a, there's no God mode, so to speak. So, does that mean if you set, say, like a thousand fish globally, are they going to have like an option to multiply? Yeah, so that, um, that type of thing, we, like the, 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 Like you set it and leave it very, and let nature take its course? A very complicated back-end system that would need to run all of that. Right. So, um, so is that the plan? The plan, yeah, that is the plan. Uh -huh. yeah. So we were, we're looking at tech where we kind of, we would probably have like a, uh, a system where it's not all calculated real time because let's say that we've got this piece of land here right or, or this whole area of land this is a one-to-one -one scale size planet you know somebody might visit this land I mean if they've got tiles there maybe more often but if it's in the middle of nowhere somebody might visit it I don't know once a year or once every two years or, or something like that we don't want we don't want to be running computational um, algorithms to figure that out consist like persistently non-stop right so the way that we're looking to approach this is that we have algorithms that determine a starting point we uh, we take that starting point when somebody comes back and accesses it in the future and I'm, I'm probably ruining some of the, the beauty of all this by explaining I'm sure everyone's but, uh, just yeah, so ecstatic so we, to hear we, about uh, it you know you come back in the future when you come back then it becomes it stops becoming dormant it becomes live again and then decides okay since the last time this has been accessed it's been this much time there was this much here you know we quickly compute okay these fish will be this big now or these animals wow. will be now. these would multiply it by that's this much really by cool. now uh that that's i didn't even think about that yeah, that's like yeah. Our, yeah, yeah that's, i'm just thinking about these questions fish. right now yeah, that's, that's like incredible our, sorry i'm so sorry yeah, that's like our approach um to to uh yeah that type of thing so yeah. we're thinking about a lot of these things long term wow um, so you guys wanted to see that uh, mini, oops, that mini ether game. So I'll just switch the map on. So I'll give you guys another, uh, you know, I like to reveal things progressively. It's a bit hard now to put on the spot and stuff, but okay. So the mini game, we're not here. So the ether mini game is an idea that I, I had some time ago. I like. Earth 2 has a very complicated side to it, right? So Earth 2's got a complicated side. We need to bring in simplicity, something that people can just access and just play and enjoy simple kind of right. gameplay. So we also yeah, so we also need to test the the advertising system. So the you know um, 
both players are playing games and earning and property owners can also earn while so it's like a, you know creating this ecosystem yeah um, so my idea with this uh, simple ether game it will be multiplayer but you drop into a property when you're waiting in the lobby to play in the property you'll see ads and things like that and that that the fun like the profit we can't say the the whole the whole ad fee because we need to also run it through it's got to be sustainable but like the profit of that will then get split with the owners so the owners can actually generate revenue while people are waiting to drop in and then when they drop in they're collecting the ether balls which is actually play to earn Ah, so you yeah, can, um, I, I was thinking so that. You, so you can you collect, collect ether, ether, even if you don't so own play, that land? Yeah, this is my idea. Like, just one of my ideas for like a mini game. You collect the ether, um, you know, and they compete for the ether. They've watched ads and stuff to get into the game. Uh, whether What fraction of ether we set that to, we're, I've already run calculations, but, you know, even uh, a tenth of an, uh, an ether... Depending on the price of essence, which nobody knows what it'll end up, it'll be very driven by the community. Um, you know, it might be something where the, the 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 value, depending on the value of essence, the owner of the land might be able to adjust how much ether they want to be the prize. You know, how much they want to be collected. Um, but yeah, they, you, you kind of. Like we've got multiplayer for this, but obviously we're not in multiplayer mode. Like this so you said that you can level up your avatars, like the stuff that it's getting, the sword and this and that. Can the actual character also level up in strength? Um, or is uh, that? We're not looking at level up systems right now. Um, so you can see here, down there, uh, you've got a timer. Uh, I have to collect. Oh, the, I have to collect the next ether ball before that timer runs out. Otherwise, my game. I will go back to um, default snail speed. But for this, for this game, we just make it end. So if I can't get the next ether ball, every ether particle, sorry, that I collect, uh, my character speeds up. So every ether ball that your character collects, um, your character speeds up. So that's why you saw in the video, the um, UTV1 pre-alpha video, you saw that I was getting trolled because my character was going slower than one of the other. <laughs> so as a direct influence uh, on no, the actual no, avatar. No, got it, got it, got it. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. no I didn't see it. So I missed that. I got 30. 30, 30, 30. 30. Yeah. Nice. All right. and can the owner of the property determine how many people were allowed in the... Yeah, so there'll be some determination based on the size of the property. So the larger property you own, the more people you can have compete on the property. Um, so obviously it means the more ad revenue generation that you can get, the more potential. Are these games only available on T1 and 2? or uh, They'll be available on T1, T2 and T3, okay. but... You guys are going to learn about that soon. We've got an <laughs> announcement coming. There we go. A break is coming, coming, guys. Yeah. It's coming. You'll learn about it. <laughs> but you will need... Ah, oh, jeez, I'm just giving everything away. Well, you've got the whole community watching. <laughs> what did you do, Drew? you got the whole community watching <laughs> the stream. So why not? I mean, the community, they get, they get upset about yeah. not getting enough information. No, we're <laughs> here I am. I'll, give, I'll, I'll hand out information for the next three months. <laughs> and then I'll have to read comments coming back through my team of like Jay and everybody's complaining this <laughs> Yeah. I, I like the the t-shirts that just came out. The skins? Oh yeah. Those yeah, are nice. The, yeah. Uh -huh. Where are the female Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get you guys some merch. <laughs> yeah. Oh merch. Yes. The female versions of the GDC shirts. Oh the yeah. GDC yeah. yeah, I know. We actually yeah. have it. Get some merch. You oh, do? do we okay. have it. There are female versions so maybe, back. maybe I'll drop that as well. But we yeah. have it and they, they Some they of us women it, are very so. upset. <laughs> we need a male yeah. a male hiker too. Male hiker okay, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, we need a male hiker. <laughs> Oh. That's true. That's true. Yes, that's, that's, that's fair. Me. That's right. You do a lot of hiking. I do. <laughs> so, so yeah, and so you can imagine this ether game with a few different players, you know, trolling, trying to collect the ether particles first. It's a simple game. I like simplicity in that regard. Yeah. Um, 
but you know it's competitive it's yep. fun it's all you need yeah exactly and uh, yeah that, that's kind of like how I see the start of E2V1 yep. uh, beginning just just people get access to it uh, some, some simple things to do and that's a, that's a beginning for us I know one question a lot of people I've heard ask is are you able to turn off and on mentors are you able you to turn off of, one tile properties, you don't want to necessarily see all Well, the one tile property problem, yes. Um, yeah. yeah, so it could be something we could toggle on and off. However, mentors also serve a purpose. So it's kind of like, you know, do we... We have had this conversation before. Uh, the mentor was designed by uh, the, the ex-game designers. So it was something that maybe wasn't thought through... Uh, in heavy detail, especially considering how much land was sold. Um, so we have kind of thought about making them a lot smaller or, uh, you know, like kind of go into the ground or, or beamed up or something. Yeah. Yeah. I've even heard ideas about like do races around them if there's lots of them. Yeah, I mean, that would be a good well, idea yeah. too, right? But but we do, we do plan to, um, we do plan to have a uh, player like you, you know, you can place checkpoints and things like that oh, cool. for races and yeah. stuff like that. So I was wondering with your, with the old team, the new team, like what if, what happens like if you want to get rid of like the old stuff, like I don't know if you can, like mantars or jewels or stuff like that for something new. Is that is that a thing? Or you yeah, well, I've tried very hard to to build a project around the foundations. Like a lot yeah. of those ideas were mine initially, anyway. But yeah. I've tried to not stray too far from something that we're committed to. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I, I think the community appreciates that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, things like yeah, various algorithms and stuff, I've tried to stick to it as much yeah. as possible, even though it probably wasn't thought through uh, really well. But I've tried to kind of stick to it. All right. E2v1 egg hunts this year? <laughs> yeah, well, I think when E2v1 comes out, there's got to be some kind of egg hunt. So... And yeah. hell, I know, Lord's Warrior, there you go, I'm calling you out. Is it going to be something where it would be whoever gets there first, you click it and claim it? Or This is something we need to, we have, like, the world is huge, right? Um, and I have thought about putting a considerable prize on it. So it's something that I have been thinking about in the back of my mind because... You know, we've, we've got a fairly sizable team, and you trust people, but you also got to be cautious. Yeah. So something that I don't, I don't know if we we really want to uh, like, even myself included, right? We sh- nobody should know the location. Right. But how do you set it up without anybody knowing the location? So it's not a high priority, but I have been thinking in the back of my head how we can um, like encrypt the location and keep it on the server so nobody actually knows where it is. Then when you then when you, you get close to, stumble, to it, you should find. The other thing it, we're yeah. going to worry about is obviously, let's say that we had like a an egg worth a hundred thousand dollars or something, then people yeah. are going to write bots right. and they're going to yeah. scour everywhere. So there's a lot of it's a simple idea at egg hunt, but when there's money and yeah, value yeah. involved, yeah. Well, people yeah. have they will find a way. Yeah, they want to find a way, and I would prefer something like that to be discovered randomly. Yeah, and yeah. What happens? So. So are the eggs going to turn into dinosaurs? Uh, I think it's too early to, to decide. <laughs> on that. I tried. Even, I, I do want to do something special with the eggs, yeah. but um, but yeah, it's it's like yeah, we could do that, and we could spend a month on yeah. making that. Recently, I'd like. I agree with Moon Studio. That looks so good. Can you spawn a fish in there? Um, Why is that not functioning yet? Here we go. Underwater. I think the fish spawn in the ocean. Oh? Yeah, I don't know if they spawn here. So what about these campfires? Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, what was it? Oh, another interesting spot was again 
again, it's, well, oh, where is that? I don't know. That's in uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You're going to have to Google the coordinates. I am going to have to. <laughs> It just shows how big the world is. It's so hard to find things. Yeah. Uh, where is it, sorry? St. Vincent's and the Grenadines. Oh, oh no, hang on. I've got to do that. Google the place. How did it get out of here? Is this... Yeah. There you go. St. Vincent's? Vincent and the Grenadines. <laughs> there you go. It's around up there. Shades go see Elite City. Okay, so do I have trees? Okay, I'll turn the trees off. Oh, on. So volcanoes. Oh, what's your? Uh, oh wow. <laughs> what's your oh, volcano? Cool. Yeah, this is a giant volcano right there. Wow. So I, I mean, hope just to, to give you an idea of the size. So this is 758. So look at that. Yeah. Wow. Zoom in. That's a lot of um, land. So it's a. You know, put somebody on it. Yeah, look at that! Yeah, He's running some. around my mega city. Wow. I love it. Yeah, look at there's some one tile, oh, okay. single tiles in the distance. With all the can man. you charge. can you change him to uh, cute? Oh wow! Oh, Wait, what? Oh, I haven't seen that one before. Either. Yeah, look at the hamster. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. You can see the mentors, you can see the tiles, the country, flags. Hopefully someday there'll be lava. <laughs> well, we do have the lava. I'll show you that one in a oh. second. So let me, um, hang on, let me uh, turn these There is lava, uh, guys. You can see, with the flags off, the color comes back a bit. Yeah. Because we have to, obviously, we need to overlay that so you can see her running. Oh, okay. yeah. See the oh, yeah. 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 It's like a, it's been projected. Okay. You turn it off and it gets that. Color you know, comes back to that. I like the detail of the dress and stuff. So, so, so really yeah, even the flowing, right, of yeah. the material. The flailing and stuff. You can see that. It's literally flowing oh, in the wind. That's, yeah, that's great. Look at the detail of that dress, guys. It's like a little Wow, look at that. It's so bright and crisp. That's what I guess I'm most. Yeah. So yeah, you know, I mean, you know, beautiful. once we get into the like survival mode, imagine like you find the plants. You know, you you sustaining yourself. I'm getting. Oh, so you actually have to eat. Yeah. Uh, well, I want. I want like that energy. To be yeah. You gotta nice. sustain yourself. Will there be chocolate? There should be chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Were you providing an overlay option to show location labels? Oh, definitely. definitely. Like, this is very early, so yeah. you know, obviously, we'll have something much better than the website over time. Uh, you know, from an informative perspective. She's perspective. running around Elite City right now, guys. So but yeah, I mean, this is something that we are thinking about because you can see all the mentors and you know, yeah, definitely. it's something we're considering how how we deal with. Um, so what was the other, I can't remember now. Color tint, is that just part of day and night, or is that a certain, like, sunset? I what is, I've what never is... even used that, so... <laughs> Here's your chance. <laughs> What's that? That's not a ether ball. Oh, so this is a new game, it yeah. tracks the information, it'll tell yep. time remaining, targets hit. Yeah. What's the highest score? We have another community member who says, can you ask I got how, much essence it, how much essence would it cost to get uh, to get a custom one of one avatar? A custom oh yeah. what? A custom what? <laughs> yeah, can, can you ask to get how much essence would it cost to get a custom one of one avatar? One of one. Like a skin? Yeah. Like one avatar. Like you can build your own yeah. skin basically? Hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know. We probably wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't probably do that. Um, but yeah. Wow. That's some skills. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I gotta beat that. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the, the highest I've got is 36. You know, I'm all for the pew pew shape. I want to try it. Can I try it? Can I try it? I'm recording now for Mars Bar. Here she's going to do a mini game. I think somebody may have shown this earlier, but if not, grab the hotkeys guide. There's that for you, for you guys. Should have that. And here goes Mars Bar. Can I jump? Am I jumping? Yeah, space is jump. Is there a double jump? No, whatever. You gotta press E again to get your gun out. Yeah, and then just try Can I target it? Yeah, oh, look at that! Yeah. Whoa. I would... Oh, yeah, I'm still I wouldn't getting used to. I wouldn't zoom. 40 it's seconds. This is Earth 2. In the Earth 2 version 1. Alright, I need to get oriented here. Get a Mars bar. There you go. Oh, 30 seconds, three targets hit, four targets hit. Fuck, oh, she's going after it. Come on. Do you like value in my content? I gotta be you. Subscribe, like, and subscribe. Share the video. Comment and chat or down below. People are loving this. Yeah. I think each channel, she had like 200 people live. I had a couple of hundred. Yeah, everybody's. Your thing stopped though, it didn't work or? Uh, it, it was. Oh, what do you got? How many did you get? Oh, she beat me. Look at that, she beat me. Mars bar with 12. Oh my Mars god. Mars bar beat you, Ariel. Um, <laughs> but I need to beat yeah, you. Yeah, I think there's, there's a bit of an internet <laughs> issue down there as well. So, oh, that's <laughs> even with the Wi Fi, yeah. the, the, you'd think at an event yeah, like this that have to spread Wi Fi. It only works for me over there. <laughs> I have to actually so go here though. Playing a mini game in E2v1 with Shane here. Amazing stuff. Oh, I can fly. Yeah, double double space to turn them on and off. Can I fly and shoot them? No, you can't shoot with your hand. Like, You're not going to hold a gun with you. <laughs> that may be dangerous. 25 seconds. Oh, no. Oh, I got that one. Probably you spent half your time flying. So. I did, I did. <laughs> that might that might be <laughs> Okay, so when you hit space bar, it switches out of the guy. No! Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that. Oh, you, you spun the two. Oh, you spun the two. Where? I don't even know how to. I think it's. <laughs> oh, there he is. You're going after the T Rex. I can't even move. Get him, Mars. Got your butt right there. Is he going to eat me? Oh, he's going up on it. Oh, oh, he ran right through. He's not. He's not. Um, they're not oh, like. Oh, I can pet him. There's no AI associated to it. He's so cute. Ah, uh, there's our buddy. <laughs> it's pretty good, pretty good quality, but yeah, right? yeah, one of our huge. one of our 3D modelers made that. Really? Wow. Yeah. Can I ride it? They're very no, no, no. Yeah, very talented. Yeah. No, he's not, there's no um, there's no collision or anything. Like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll just pretend to ride him. There you go. It's just for testing. Getting on top of the very dino. Cool. So how fast can she ride? Uh, so double double space to stop flying. So you run, it's and if you want to go faster, you shift, hold shift, and, and then the control do anything like yep. roll. Uh, that will duck, I think. Like the control will make you crouch. How do I? She's uh, flying. So will there be um, a health meter? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is just. As I said, this is like a dev version. So it's just, this is what we play around with. <laughs> like this stuff here, is, it's all extras. The main purpose of the demo at GDC yeah. is the, 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 the technical side behind actually having a one-to-one -one scale digital world that's, 
that exists because the navigators go anywhere. All right, so what we're seeing right here, how long have you been actually hands-on doing what we're doing now, would you say? Uh, this specifically or? Just being able to fly around and do all the... So there's a nice night wait for FGI? I like the Uh Yeah, this has been like a work in progress, so... Um, I don't know, like four months or something. Oh, well, Five okay. Months. So it's like, you know, just progressively yeah. building extra parts. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine what it would be like in another three years. I mean, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's something you got to consider. Yeah, this is yeah. pre alpha. Well, what we have to look forward to. So, yeah, you've spawned. You've spawned something, and you can also see the other character. It just ran over me. How dare it? Look, she has collisions, though. So you can't go. Over yeah, there. these have collisions. Yeah. yeah. Go just the the dinosaur doesn't. Is it still there? He's gone. Oh, he's up. Oh, there, there he is. There he's there, he's there again. Oh, yeah. Dinosaur. Yeah, so look at this, it's just super perfect. perfect. Yeah, he's got, he's got the drone flying, cool. you can see there, see the surface. It's amazing. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm a little bummed I haven't beaten your score, but there's another day left. <laughs> Is there any, anywhere else? That, um, Twin Islands, uh, but I need to find the coordinates to the field. Of the accuracy? Yeah. Um. Look at that. It's all, terrain, it's all the terrain of the Earth and then vegetation. Down to the centimeter. So, we had a question from Jeff Thrill about seasons. Can you uh, talk yeah. about how seasons are? Uh, well, I do see seasons here as well. So, yeah, seasons. Again, that's so we have the tech to show the seasons. We have the tech built in, but um, again, it's like a system that needs to be programmed in from the back end to determine the changes. So probably the pre-alpha will will not. We might allow people to change the se uh, seasons if they want, but it won't be like fully implemented as a as a. Uh, so change it by their tile area. Or just like in the geographical area they are. Yeah, like, it wouldn't be like boat on it. It would just be what you see yourself. So, so if um, someone's walking through tiles, will they see different seasons across different tiles? Probably what we would do is um, make the, the seasons change specific to what how they change in the real world based on time. Okay. Um, we could allow people to change their own seasons, but then we're getting into a stage where you got some parts here with that season, another yeah. season, and it breaks the immersion. So you kind of have... It breaks the immersion. Want, yeah, yeah. You want to have some kind of... I think you had said previously that you was kind of a change in plans of being able to merge, so you're leaning more towards not being able to merge properly. Yeah, that, is a, that is a much bigger problem than yeah. how it sounds initially. I mean, at the end of the day, we also have... Again, I wasn't involved in that system I, I never would have built it that way but the, the original designers built the system where you get a smaller property like a one tile and you get more ether from it which right. you know to me it just doesn't make sense but um, and what that that you can from that decision you can see the ramifications and the domino effect it has long term so if we allow players to merge properties, essentially they've benefited from all that time having a very small property with maybe not much you could do with it inside and of the one. So they merge it all together yeah. and suddenly now they're going to benefit from all the ecosystem and the, uh, you know, like as I was saying before, the mini games and, you know, the benefits that you might get from having a larger property. So it's a very complicated thing when you get people who make decisions very early on and those decisions are not long -term thoroughly thought through for a, in, a, in a long term. Um, so yeah, I mean, yes, of course we can we can make it so people can merge their properties together. But you know, it's, it's a question of whether we should or shouldn't. Uh, what, what's fair to everybody? So what about EPLs? 
Are you able to have multiple EPLs go to one location, or is it? More? I think it's one EPL per property. From what okay, I, so yeah. you won't be able to have like. Yeah, and uh, the EPL is dependent on the property size. Yeah. From what I understand. Okay. Yeah. Properties. Yeah. yeah. Will those be? I think you could. Yeah, you could probably move them in the future, but probably to a same similar property size, I'd imagine. Oh, because I have a lot of one tiles, just EPLs. With longer, longer. Yeah, I'm like 350. Like, but one or bigger is fine. Like, I, I would imagine as long as it can fit on the other property. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not quite, okay. So let's so, say, I'll just as an example. And I'm not sure about that either. So it okay. could end up just being something it. where EPLs are completely transferable. But okay. then you get in a situation where, you know, you've got to think of it deeper. You get in a situation where you've got a tier one big property. Uh, somebody could buy all the premium names and just book them off to right, you know, lots of smaller properties and then yeah. so it's it kind of not fair to the people who've got that tier one. The bigger one. Okay, property. so it's basically yeah. the tier so many things sizes. To consider in these little, yeah. <laughs> little details. Okay, yeah. so that's what you mean by like similar with the portals. Will you be able to is there benefits to going directly from one property that has an EPL to another property with an EPL. How will the search like the search? So the way the way I see the EPLs working I is that the, the players will have um, a piece of technology they need to craft. So it'd be like a teleporter, and more or less, I'm thinking the player could be anywhere as long as they've got some charge, you know, on whatever it is they need. They can key in the EPL and go to that location. Now. What we haven't thought about, or what I haven't thought about yet, is just returning to that form location. So, you know, let's say that we've got a player in A location, uh, EPL teleported to B location. Can they go back to A quickly or not? Is there a time limit? Is there um, a reason why you think that's important versus them just typing in the previous EPL? Or like a recent history um, that they can go through and type well, in? Well, we don't, yeah, we want players to have a purpose to go to a property. So let's say that I want to go to somewhere... Oh, so they just don't lose their spot. Yeah, you go to the property, to the area that you want to visit. Yeah. Instead of having to navigate there yourself. However, you know, you might want to get to some areas that don't have properties near them or no EPL. No, I meant, then, is yeah. there, what, what is the... Because you said you want to be able to have them return back quickly. Like, what's the benefit of that versus, like, going back in your own, like, say, these are the places you visited, and I want to go back to that EPL, just type it in and go on to the next one. Oh, yeah, the EPLs are fine. Yeah. I'm talking about, uh, yeah, so I'm talking about somebody uh, teleporting from the middle of nowhere, not a property, and then going back to that location. Okay. Like, they might have find some, found something special or something in that area. Okay. Um, you know, just, oh, I guess because like, it's so big, you just kind of forget that's, where you were. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. forget where you're exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you do. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's some other biomes here. I don't know if you guys want to check out any of them. But, yeah. yeah, let's look at the shrubs. Which one? Uh, shrublands. I don't even know what that is. Zarek? Uh, I have a question. Player contracts, will it be essence only or would it be E? e um, I think it, it would probably be a mixture of both, but probably essence would be a bigger thing. Just purely so there for are like still KYC contracts. reasons. There you go, you got your answer right there. So yeah, this is uh, Got all your questions answered? Oh, there's you, so many, I'm trying to think. You have to beat the scores. This one, I like this one. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, uh, volcanic! Yeah, we have. I told you we've got volcanic. Where is the volcanic? I just saw it. There it is, right uh, above. Okay, it doesn't have a. Ah, uh, <sighs> no way! <laughs> Look at that! Wow, what did that? Welcome to GDC 2015. Smile. I need to go to GDC. That looks nice. Would that have like an inbuilt health dropper? Yeah, we would probably do something like that. <laughs> uh, you said you had a favorite? Sorry? Oh, you have Paris and Rome, so you have buildings already in there? Uh, there's no buildings. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just 
just a lot of people like, you know, they like going somewhere they know. So. Oh, is that your history? Uh, That's green. No, 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 this was oh, just a okay. preset, yeah. So you can go to any location and zoom in from the satellite all the way Anywhere, down yeah. into... Yeah. You can turn it into You can ring. see this, um, this is like the ring that we've created. Showing the satellite. Oh, okay. The whole ring. I mean, that's, that's showing a huge satellite. area. That's it. That's. I mean, that's the that whole ring. Paris here. Yeah. Oh, Paris. That's yeah. Paris. Yeah, apparently this is all running at a 3080. So you got the Eiffel Tower down here somewhere. Uh, yeah, where am I? Yeah, I'm going Okay, let's. Uh, where's Eiffel Tower? Right here. Yeah, I think it's. <laughs> They're all so bad with geography. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower is close to the wall. Yeah, I thought it was. Around this garden. It's really sad because I got engaged there and I still don't know where it is. Yeah, here. There we go. I thought, there that's it is. I thought it was and you just couldn't see it from that. And then you just zoom in and it goes from satellite yeah, down to. The, and then all of a sudden, there we are. What would go next? Yeah, such a nice I love transition. that too. Hope you guys can see the detail of this. It's oh, look at all the fog. Oh, there's the fog. Yeah, so here's fog. So here's foggy. And Marvin's. So, you know, it's very much a work in progress. So, I mean, you know, over, we, we start with the basic E2B1, and then, um, you know, you can imagine here, like, over the next year, two years, whatever start getting animals walking around and there's more and more to do so you know, more and more people become interested in uh, the escapism to it all I so guess. I know we can put buildings in but can we terraform no no okay. the, the terraforming again this is something we probably need to look at over time but terraforming like we're, we're dealing with so much data on yeah. such a big scale right. It's not like a small map. Terraforming no, we're changing easy, all the time and we're just not doing it on a global scale yeah. and then making it persistent. Right. You know. Alright, question on red energy stuff. I know people have been questioning once we get more people coming back and is there gonna be another function for that or people, the civilians are gonna start wondering and people are gonna yeah, be eating so up is, the Yeah, this is the thing. Um, I mean I am aware of it. And I do want to introduce some other form of sustainability. Uh, but yeah, I guess there's pros and cons. Save up your red energy. If you build too many civilians. Well, yeah, that was always the plan. As I said, don't build too many unless you know that you can sustain it initially. So at the moment, it's still okay. But obviously, as we have more and more players come back, it's something that I need to address at some yeah, point. People yeah. are getting hit already. Yeah. I've seen a decrease in. Even yeah. just looking at Discord, people are coming in. Yeah. New people have seen, I haven't been here in two yeah. years. And so you kind of, <laughs> so the red energy side of things, like, yeah, I guess you, you should have some saved up for a rainy day for a while. For a while. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's something I need to look at the sustainability. I like to have some plausible logic behind it. It's just I have so many other high priorities at the moment. It's something, um, it's, uh, it's so something I'm aware of. But. You I'm getting a, a lot of requests to show Bermuda. Bermuda? Bermuda. Bermuda. Well, I can see a Bermuda. <laughs> no. I'm getting a lot of comments from Bermuda triangle. Okay, so... Um, and I'm, I'm going to pick one of my properties I want to go yeah, into. Yeah, you should. So Bermuda, Check it out. Bermuda, just Bermuda? Or uh, yeah. Bermuda triangle or Bermuda? Bermuda, the country. Yeah, okay. there you go. Uh, whereabouts do you know like so I can at least get the right location? Uh let's see. Try let's see what the where would you like where in B Bermuda would you like to see? Uh we got Hamilton, which is like the main city. Right Hamilton? Here. Yeah. They wanna see their tiles? Zoom in. Yeah. There's the tiles. Oh, I'll just turn Legacy of Bermuda. Legacy of Bermuda. Oh, there, Bermuda. <laughs> there, there it is. is. Look at that. Nice tile over here. Legacy of Bermuda. We there also have a request for um, Venice, the center. Yeah. Venice. Yeah. That's from E2 Evolve. 
<laughs> hey, we got a we got a Bitcoin beat. That's me. That's my look little hat. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that's cool. Huge area. Look at all this art. Though. I know. Like, Were you surprised by all the tile art? Yeah, I, I never. That's one thing I never thought about, and uh, yeah, it was super, <laughs> super impressed by people's creativity in that regard. I mean, inherently, oh, humans yeah, are facts, creative, yeah. so. It's, it's really oh, what's going on? Uh, yeah, humans are creative, so it's nice to see. Leave your legacy in the metaverse. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's only some time to do that one. Yeah. Leave your legacy in the metaverse. Oh, can you do it like zoom in? Just no, oh, there's a Bermuda train. Oh no. Nice. Well, zoom in what? Yeah, maybe just in the middle of there, just to show how you go from this view down to more like a. Maybe in the it's future, but no transition <laughs> going from up top to that. <laughs> <laughs> the chaos that would ensue. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are giving me those tough points. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> one tile. Yeah, yeah. Oh that's my huge. Goodness. That's gonna. Oh my goodness. There's some racing around there. Yeah, it is pretty cool, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> like. I mean, a boat. Oh, yeah, so those are all single tiles. Right? Yeah, it looks yeah. like it. Are you oh, able to navigate are. in a boat, like back and forth? Yeah, that's just, oh, maybe you can't see it. Anymore. It's F3. Look at that altitude. Wow. Doom. Oh, is that Mortal Kombat? I just. Huh. One up, one up. <laughs> so you can be able to toggle one off up. the flags? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and then, the, okay, and that's just the, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. All right, cool. And yeah, now yeah, we're underwater. Fish. The fish in the water. I love the underwater. It's amazing. So would the spawn work here? Or is it just this? Oh, look at, wow. <laughs> look at the marine light. There's so many. Where are those? Oh, that's such a cool view from up top. You can still see, yeah, see the marine light from up top. This one you actually don't need the mouse. Okay. You just use shift and W A S D. Yeah. How did you flip it? There she goes. Exactly the same size as the world. Oh, really? 510 million square miles. So you put it on top of the real world, like you record it? And you put no, no, no. This is completely interactive. You oh, can really? zoom into anywhere. 
Wow. Yeah. Oh, no, so no, I mean the real world environment. How, how do you import uh, it? We use, so we source the public and private, uh, from the public and private sector, height map data, and it's all mathematically constructed. <laughs> you go backwards for a flip. Height map data. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So that's that's like basically like important from the report. You have to go backwards for a flip. No, no, no. It's all actual data. So it's height map data across the whole world. So it tells you how high the land is. Oh, like if you want to have mathematically water. constructed the whole world. Oh, really? From that data? Yeah. Where's you get the data from? Uh, some from NASA, but then also wow. from like the private sector. We've, we've worked with uh, private companies uh, to purchase data to get better. So it's called height map data. Height yeah. height map data. Yeah, it's, it's fairly like NASA use that type of data to reconstruct planets or, or the Earth. So the land that we're standing on right now has a height, right? So every meter or yeah. ten meters, they all have height. Yeah. So we take all of that mathematically, put it into the world, and yeah, it's not it's easy. Awesome. Yeah, it's know. not easy, but yeah. Do you know, um, sir, do you know anywhere they give up prizes, contests around here, like any booth? Do you know them? I have no, no idea, contest. sorry. No. <laughs> so there's, there's no contest around here, right? No. I, I, I might have a contest tomorrow. <laughs> oh, what time do you close tomorrow, actually? Uh, they still get two. I, I, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's five four, or six. Four thirty? Yeah. It's earlier tomorrow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank I'll, you. I'll have a shooting contest All right. tomorrow. Right. Shooting <laughs> contest? Yeah. yeah. Try to get yeah, to the upper atmosphere. Are you gonna, that's gonna. It looks <laughs> like it'll be quick, but <laughs> it'll take a long time. That's you awesome. know, it's kind of semi-realistic. You can see his speed up there. Oh, it is going faster. Yeah, if you're running, running the whole show yourself, huh? <laughs> you just yeah, keep on going. That's like, I mean, keep on the interesting going thing was, <laughs> I wanted to just hire somebody to be here. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but the, the guys from Metagravity said that they'll have people around. So, and you know, they, they just know it and get you know, bits and pieces, but they probably they don't know it as they well as me. Yeah. And they, they also don't know uh, specific details. So then I ended up just saying, you know, what the hell, I'll just, I'll just hang around. <laughs> That's awesome. But I was going to hire somebody to, to do this, to, to, yeah, to be around. It's okay. I mean, it's far better than you have had here. quite a few Sorry, uh, people from the industry <laughs> come over. Yeah, we've yeah. had some senior guys from Unity come over. And oh, they were, nice. They were really, really surprised nice. that you know. I mean, it's their engine. And they're, <laughs> yeah. That's um, funny. <laughs> um, That's awesome. And uh, yeah, a lot of. Yeah. I think people in the industry who can appreciate how complex this is, a lot of those guys have stopped and talked about it and have been really curious, uh, you know, how the hell we managed to do this. Yeah. Well, that's what everyone was saying, all the scam yeah. troopers, they said yeah, it's not even achievable, right? Yeah, that's why we've with right? all these things, because it's like, it's meant to be impossible, like, yeah. no, we are making it, it is, it is real. It, it is real. It is real. You know, like, that's you know, true. Yeah, yeah look, you're 100% like correct. Scam. Right. Yeah, 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 so. <laughs> I have a property that the Acropolis, oh, yeah, where, Acropolis in Acropolis. Athens. Let's go around there. AC. AC R O P. Jalipa has the main property, but I've got one not too far. You and I are just yeah. where about. Uh, I'll just get, so I guess the coordinates here, in case we move on. It is, yep. Instantly low. Wow. There's my property, I recognize it already. It's that one right there. This one? That is, yes. Oh, wow, that's a pretty big one in the that middle is. of Athens. Yeah, it's the whole uh, Acropolis Museum. Wow. There's my tiles right there. Very nice. Wow. The, these biomes are not final, we're just kind of okay. testing stuff, so it doesn't mean that it would be exactly that, though it is nice and clear. So yeah, we could, um, we can, let me turn this Oh no, I actually got to turn it on. We can, uh, we can have a oh, mini cool. game on uh, these properties. <laughs> a mini game on my tiles, look at this! 
unbelievable. <laughs> oh my gosh, is this actually happening? I'm standing next to Shane as he's walking across my top. <laughs> Absolutely. How cool does that feel, right? <laughs> yeah, you can see we've got all the... Oh yeah, so in the game, after a certain period of time, um, after a certain period of time, the, the ether particles will start rising. Okay. So you've got to take the battle oh. to the sky. Okay, what is mean? the like the hard borders? Of the, so that the is your property. So it's just showing. Okay. It's just showing that this is the area that you play with it. Play with, so you can't go out. Well, you can't, can go out, oh, but okay. you just can't get it. Can't spawn anything. Like so that. do you think in the future we'd be able to yeah. say? our land will spawn certain amounts of ether that other people can collect? Or is it yeah, just that? Yeah, that's kind of what's happening. So, I mean, people probably haven't... Well, they haven't thought about it because they haven't released the information oh, yet, but <laughs> they'll probably start looking very carefully at how much ether each property actually creates yeah. to start thinking about, okay, how many ether particles am I going to have? How uh, attractive is that for people to come and right. battle? Uh, you know... How much might I be able to generate ad revenue from, from that? So make it rain ether every now and then. Yeah. There we go. Where's Athens? Can you show the adjustable water wave height? Um, let me try. I mean, just look, like I'm not a professional at this, but just look at the. I, I imagine a lot of people will create some very nice footage videos of. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, of this type of thing. What you Even in the. Um, you know, even in what we have now. You can see the cloud going over, so it turned dark. Yeah. You can see, look at the cloud. Can you turn it tonight? Is it just feel like. Yeah, it can. Well, then it comes up. Oh, I like that. Yeah, well, it's, you can't, because of reflections. It looks, we all are it looks so here. good. Yeah. It looks so good. Can't. No. Yeah. 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 You don't even see the detail. Yeah, it's tough to see with the reflection. <laughs> Are you able to go to Venice, to the center of Venice? Uh, E2 evolved. Wanted to know. Oh, look at that! I like the way that looks. Is that a moon? Yeah, it's got a little glimmer. A glow. It's got a light. We haven't really seen much night sight. A little bit. As time goes on, should we expect any new side droid rarities? Um, probably not at the moment. I think we've got enough to deal with with what we have right now. <laughs> so, um, so you gotta you gotta remember, like this stuff that I'm showing here. This is all like this is in dev mode. Um, but you can see each section, each part, all of that can be dynamically added into the Earth to experience. When does it get wavy? Where? When does the fog appear? So all of this is like manually constructed, but it, it shows that we do actually have that tech um, implemented into the into the E2V1 world. Uh, so it can be. And like you said, then your algorithms decide. When the yeah, fish exactly. spawn, based on yeah. coming in. Uh, Center of Venice, please. Is that a little private island? Yeah, so I don't, know, I don't even know how. I haven't really played with this one myself. Where were the waves? <laughs> Ro road wetness? Is that for rain? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Waves. Oh, maybe 
maybe it's not. There is a way to control the waves, I just don't know what it is. Put a boat in it. Sorry? Put a boat in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll have to check that one. Maybe it didn't make it to the, the nest. Uh, where was the other place that somebody wanted to go? Uh, Venice. Actually, Twin Islands. Do you know what the coordinate? It's ET slash Twin Islands. ET dot me slash Twin Islands. Oh, okay, yeah. But you wouldn't be able to do that, right? Yeah. But then he said, if you can't do that, then go to the center of Venice, please. Venice, okay. He said Venice. Venice. That's Venice, right? Venice. Venice. <laughs> Me on uh, Google, get the cord, it's there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if you know the, yeah, if you know the EPL. Yeah, Twin Islands, right? I mean, that's, it'll take you there. Another, and then you just. Uh, for EPL. E2 exactly. Yeah. Uh, Twin Islands. Look at this, he's typing in an EPL. Twin Islands? Twin I. Oh, yeah. Listen, oh, I. yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Twin. If my memory serves me correctly. Okay. It's all there we go. It's really slow. I told you the internet here is <laughs> terrible. It's so funny how it Each is. Each of you runs smoothly with their internet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because it is loading. It's very yeah, the whole thing is... Yeah, it's very super To get to a website, it takes forever, but... Yeah. Um, run around... That's things. abnormally slow. You can see it's there. It's yeah. Really you said the whole thing we're saying was in dev mode. Like, say, if I were to log into my account, well, and would you be able to see, like, as we see on the current website? Uh, versus, like... The property? Or, right, or, yeah. Oh, do you mean, like, will your property like UI by, and all that yeah. type of stuff? No. Yeah. We haven't integrated all of that yet, so it'll be a bit of a transition into E2v1, maybe um, more like game player stuff, and then we'll slowly, we'll probably keep the website for a while, and then we'll slowly... Um, yeah, so like that, yeah. Okay, so longitude, latitude, we'll get that, and then, I don't know, maybe I've got a paste from a No, we won't make a paste from Google. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the island. Yep, that's his Evolve uh, Stadium. He has a whole bunch of mega cities that have just this little oh, key really? stadium that. Cool. <laughs> All right, well, there it is. There you go, Jan. I think he's trying to speak to you. Tonight. Nice. Ah, oh, Pac Man. Bitcoin. I'm too easily amused. What is that, man? I was just trying to ask you, <laughs> but we have an entire E2 community asking if you've played E2v1, what you think about it, and if you could actually play as well live for everyone. <laughs> Thank you. I did play for the You did? What did you think? It was really cool. Really, yep. like, not the kind of thing you'd expect, right? Yeah. Which is exploring yep. a world. Our, our, my shooting was all right. You yeah, say? your shooting was good. Okay. Yeah, you you actually dropped in the UK and uh, hitting some targets. Yeah, I think I landed. <laughs> Did he beat your score, Shane? <laughs> I think I landed somewhere in Essex and then yeah, started shooting <laughs> shooting balls. <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> really? Droids, yeah. And what was your first impression? Yeah, it was really cool. Like, how did you meet Shane? 
if you don't mind me asking, if that's something. Oh, yeah, we, okay. yeah, we, my EA reached out to uh, Metagravity when they came up on our radar. And How did you find them? Uh, we, well, uh, we have, I think it was actually in the announcement, but we have um, uh, feelers out there everywhere looking for kind of new tech, new emerging companies, um, especially in the networking CCU space. And yeah, Metagravity popped up on our radar and definitely had to reach out to talk to them. My uh, EA reached out and we got in touch pretty quickly and it's been really good since then. It's been very good to work with them. So yeah. everyone already dug into you, the E2 community, and started posting old posts from from your talks before. And we're really impressed. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, you had yeah. So when you heard about E2 and they reached yeah. out, what did you think? Were you like, oh, hey, this is... it was amazing. Is... It was like the perfect uh, sort of um, demonstration of scale because you have, well, basically an entire planet to build. <laughs> it's a match made in there. Yeah, they're all. It uh, seems like it, right? I think like it seems to be like the perfect merger of two companies to really help each other. I think it really, really sets a, it sets a precedent if we're, like we have this massive open world with generally high fidelity. I'm sorry, it's right up your face. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, if we can kind of mix that with uh, Rash's uh, brilliant solution for online concurrent users, a hyperscale solution that he's built. Uh, it will be a monumental achievement. How long have you been developing Metagravity? Because this is the first time many of us heard of it. Yeah. 3E2. Um, and it sounds company, amazing. As a company, we're only about, like, we raised our seed round only about 14 months ago. Oh. But I've spent the last sort of 20 years grappling with this problem. Previously founded another company, built up over eight years working in this space. It wasn't particularly suited for gaming due to our investors not being too keen in the space, but. We had some major successes that were sort of industry breaking at the time, but I, that kind of got me really thinking about how to take the next leap forward to really make more stuff like planetary scale simulation come alive, right? Super exciting. And we have some amazing people on the team, like um, our VP of R&D, Seb, who is one of the founding managing directors of the Project Red, our VP of Technology, who is ex-Apple, ex-Microsoft in the Systems Group, um, and we have some, like we have a team who's like you know, been at all of the big AAA studios and right. built on some amazing, built amazing engine tech. So we have a really seasoned team. But yeah, this so what do you think? Fourteen intense months, but it's yeah, been it's a history of learning how to do it. So what do you think sets Earth to a part? I mean, uh, it's an entire planet. Yeah, <laughs> I say. I mean, I think there's, there isn't much more to say than that. <laughs> right, the fact that it's. Real. I think it it speaks for itself. I, I think it's amazing. It's like the idea of being able to play in a sandbox has always been the dream of gamers, but to do that at the scale of a planet is, yeah. I mean, I don't know. New territory goes without saying, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> goes without saying. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So can we like? See your skills because apparently Shen says you're pretty good. Yeah. Are you a gamer at all? I am. I've always been. Oh, um, no wonder you two get along. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate game right here. Yeah. Shane like loves Warcraft, Starcraft, I believe, right? Yeah, I actually played Warcraft One back in the nineties. Did and you? That was I loved it. It was amazing. It just Same. sort of sucked me in. Yeah, I loved it too. Then I got a lot into strategy games, but also RPGs. Right, and then um, RPGs especially, right? Yeah, I mean I played the Ultima games back in oh, the day yeah. and yeah, um, uh, of course, I've played World of Warcraft for years and years. And, uh, so, are we going to ever have a showdown? Shootout. <laughs> I think I've had a little bit more practice. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I think I would. I would be able to do this. Uh, maybe, maybe in five years. I've <laughs> caught up. So, yeah, I'm going to have to try and remember. We've got Rashid, founder of Metagravity, playing Earth Two. How cool is that? Hey, got the campfire. <laughs> oh, the campfire is out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, it's right there. That's a good Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty good. He says the pressure is on.
what do you think about the gameplay? Yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool how you guys have developed so many different. Uh, oh wow! Oh, yeah, He's got yeah. the top score oh, cool. right away. <laughs> Look at that. I should have I mean, metagravity. You could just jump on and shoot twenty-five. Right. Floating side droids <laughs> in. Uh, That's amazing. Tell he's definitely a gamer. <laughs> Where's the? Yeah, I like the rocket launch. It'll be nice to have some big boss battle style stuff oh, for definitely. the rockets. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have you seen the dino? The dinosaur. No, he hasn't. He hasn't? No, Can you spawn oh, a dino? No. So let's see. Rashid loves dinosaurs. So he's gonna try and find one or spawn one. Okay. Yeah, this is really this is really early. Is that so, um, great style rocket jump. Come ask some questions. We have to get the lock-on system, like heat seat belt. Oh, for the rocket? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah, and maybe a rail gun. Well, oh yeah, really I'd love a rail gun. Yeah. Look at this. this is great. You gotta love the CEOs who actually love the game. It's definitely a match made in heaven, I think. Yeah, it's really cool to like build these sandboxes and have so many different mechanics. So how many players then, like, have you been able to have in Earth 2 concurrently? Have you tested it out? I think I read uh, somewhere. Yeah, I think we've done some internal testing on 5,000 at the moment, but we're going to scale that up a lot. The nice. We're still working on the netcode and do you think integration. 5,000? And yeah. do you think um, you oh. see a larger number in yeah, the yeah. soon? Like or? This is, this is, uh, those numbers are just uh, smoke tests. When we're doing the integration, we get stuff up and running and see what it, what it runs at. Like, we'll be able to fill up this world, yeah. And for us who don't know what a smoke test is. <laughs> a smoke test is just checking if the code is working and there aren't any obvious bugs. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. There you see uh, can it. Can I drive the car? What's that, sorry? Car. Let's drive oh, the yeah. car. Uh, Oh, that stuff is just fun. Right? Oh, All right. So if you hit shift, you go really fast. But we have to play with the physics a little bit because it gets out of control. Yeah, it's a bit bouncy. Yeah, yeah it is very like, bouncy. Over but terrain. it is a lot of fun, though, like, being like this. And I can imagine a version of this, but where you've got guns on the car and you're driving it's, around yeah. and you're like, shooting each other. And, exactly. That's exactly right? what we're going for. Maybe Mad Max? Yeah, we're going to talk <laughs> about that. Uh, we have to talk about projectiles, uh, yeah, networking yeah, yeah. projectiles. Yeah, because yeah. We've, got, we've got that integrated on the Unreal side. We just have to get the work done for the Unity side. Yeah. yeah. So how soon do you think we can see, I guess, it, will it be multiplayer when you do the pre-alpha? Or is uh, it's still, it's still early to tell. I don't think we want to commit to anything just yet. Um, yeah, I don't know if we want to commit to anything just yet on time as far as time frames go. Oh yeah, because everyone's gonna be like you said. This. Exactly. Right. So anything that I say kinda of soon TM, right? Yeah, uh, the blizzard race. It's all the soon TM. Our yeah. community have made a specific word for soon, so uh, I try to avoid even saying soon these days. Just it's coming. So but, yeah, I should. But, you know, the the pre alpha uh, it, it depends how we release it. We may release it. Uh, as just a map so people can start exploring it and then some interactive gameplay shortly afterward uh, otherwise sure the idea is to have some form of networking this year so people can interact at some level nice big question do you have tiles on earth too oh no i don't know you need to create an account so we yeah, can all have gift you tiles no. <laughs> you oh, know that's, everyone that's would be love to see that yeah i, I think that shit yeah <laughs> absolutely and the EPL metagraphy. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that that sounds like maybe we can have a bit of a job. Wow. He's doing wow. a flip. <laughs> oh, no. Almost landed yeah, on the <laughs> Shane, can you generate a, a dino for him? I don't know how I did it last okay. time. I, I don't have a clue. It just accidentally happened. It's not on the list. Oh, no. <laughs> so it was literally so an right. accident. Left, left, right, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The three keys, I remember those. 
If anyone can remember how I accidentally uh, spawned the dino, if you can go back to my video and figure out what keys I pressed, yeah, cool. that would be great. What if you could like jump like this and shoot? Well, we do have an idea for the initial uh, mini game for vehicles, so I'm not going to go into the details and what that is. Yeah, but I'll be talking to Rash about it a bit later. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Rash has already played the mini shooting game and he's got the top score. And now he's checking out the driving. Definitely, the interaction takes it to the next level. Once you get multiplayer on that, yeah, it's, it's a, just a, it's a different level. Yeah, it's already yeah. interesting playing around in this open world. Once you get the multiplayer there, just the yeah. experience that we've had with, with the devs internally, it just makes it. It was so much fun watching those bloopers and just yeah. Like well, I mean, we had a lot around. of fun. It yeah. just takes it to another level, even from a social socializing aspect. Yeah. Yeah. So will there be like chat or? Voice. Yeah, we're looking at. Um, and is that part of Metagravity? We don't Meta really do chat, yeah. but we need to integrate things like spatial audio. You don't need to integrate it with our tech, but if you needed it, we could. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, we might see that sooner or later as well. Yeah, it's definitely on the cards. I mean, we want people to be able to interconnect with each other. Whether or not it's in the pre alpha is another thing. Um, but, yeah, we want people to be able to communicate when they're inside. And we are, you know, obviously, Metagravity, um, don't, they're not focused on that type of solution. So we are speaking to uh, uh, some other companies for that, in that regard. Um, and we'll see where that goes. I should also introduce you to June and Axelbyte. He's a really great guy. And he, Who, sir? I should introduce you to June and Axelbyte. He's oh, a yeah. really great guy. His services layer powers a lot of major publishers and stuff, and they do some really great stuff. Like, for me. He's, they're also a startup like us, but okay. they might be a good fan. I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, okay. I'll chat. chat to him later, maybe. Yeah. What um, spot would you like to see in Earth 2? Like, what would be the favorite spot that you would pick? I would actually like to see a Jurassic Park style. Like, now that I heard about the dinosaur stuff, <laughs> yeah. I would like to have dinosaurs somewhere and create, like, a Jurassic style forest with... Uh, there's prehistoric plants and you just walk in and the sounds are different. Maybe you hunt dinosaurs. Yeah. Like yeah, carnival style. Islands. Yeah, we should have like <laughs> some islands. islands that are just <laughs> Jurassic. Where I can turn that into Jurassic Park, that would be a dream come true. Yeah, Which I <laughs> like, I could be John Hammond. <laughs> Which island would you pick? I don't you know, know, you can go I, anywhere, so I'm sure everyone would want to see where you want to see. It has to be kind of hot, tropical, like yeah. it has to feel like... Jurassic period when things are hotter yeah. or the Cretaceous. Yeah, that would be really cool. I'd love to see that. Yeah, yeah but you know, the cool thing about this stuff is it's a sandbox, so every feature you add has a network effect of impact with other players and other... So we're, we're really excited to start bringing that scale What do you mean by that? More, like, take Minecraft, right? It's a sandbox, and it's maybe the quintessential sandbox. Just the ability to break blocks that when you give it to players they figure out how to play the game um, and then when you add the little features like survival mode and stuff right. they just change the dynamic right? yeah but then if you add it multiplayer that's always been the limiting factor for sandboxes they just lend themselves to just having more people building in the sandbox like a sandbox is more fun if it's a bigger with more kids playing in it i think that's across and all the metaverses the consistency is, yeah, and persistent. the consistency is yeah. important well, as well. a sandbox yeah. to, to, your creation should have an impact on the world and okay. that's super exciting so that's what we're really excited about um, once we're happy with how the polish of the features look the scale stuff isn't so much the issue for us it's just getting the polish right so that gamers aren't going to complain because gamers do complain it's yeah, it'll, be, it'll yeah. be very much a work in progress yeah <laughs> over time it'll be a work in progress but as I've mentioned before we want to put the pre-alpha into people's hands as early as possible and then iterate on top of that. So I think it's important, building something like a metaverse, I think it's important to have the players uh, 
hands on the experience and then determine which way we want to go. Like, is building important earlier? Or is gameplay important earlier? Is socializing important earlier? Uh, we'll find out these things kind of over time as as we, you know, witness the interaction of our players uh, on an early stage. Building something like a metaverse hasn't really been done before, certainly not at this scale. So there's a lot of unknowns, and um, I think anybody would be kidding themselves to say, hey, I've got the perfect blueprint for a metaverse, uh, because it's just too hard to predict what, what the future will be, what people want to do. Um, but over time, we'll, we'll nail each of these uh, We'll build and build, we'll iterate on top of this initial E2v1 pre-alpha, and as we have done over the past three years, uh, we'll get there slowly. We'll, we, you know, we're, made, we're accomplishing goals, and um, we'll get to where we need to be over the next two, three, four, five years and beyond. Do you have a number in mind of the <coughs> initial amount of players that will be accessing E2v1 pre-alpha? Like we have, um, so for the initial pre-alpha, we have received a couple of thousand um, applications, which is great. Uh, we've kind of built, we've, we've uh, honed that list down now to a few hundred. Um, that initial testing should commence probably over the next couple of months. We'll do some stress tests uh, using uh, Metagravity's solution. So we'll do some stress tests on that with uh, some of the specific chosen uh, group out of the out of the applicants, and then we'll expand on top of that uh, for larger stress tests and kind of uh, see where and how we push the limits, and hopefully that leads to like a pre-alpha release to the public a bit later this year with the multiplayer included. Uh, I'm not saying that we 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 may still release like a, an E2v1 pre-alpha without the multiplayer, just so people can go around and look at the tiles, look at the the land yeah, like this. yeah this just is, like we've done today here, yeah. it actually it was a bit of an eye-opener for me yesterday when you know like you guys looking around you wanted to see where your properties were and how happy you guys were just seeing really, that yeah. so you know i i thought that possibly people wouldn't be uh, as excited to see that uh as as you guys were so it's kind of changed my mind a little bit made me think that maybe we can release like a pre-alpha a bit earlier just to give you guys some access and see your land, see your tiles and what have you. Sorry, I, I need to run for a meeting but I just want to say a couple of things. So one of the things I learned in the early days of building startups that really did turn out to be true is, I think it was Reid Hoffman who said this, so, but I forget, but this kind of mentality has been there for decades. Uh, if you're not embarrassed by your first product, you ship too late. And as the builders, you're always going to be very critical of what you build. But then, especially in the case of sandboxes, you'll never quite discover what can be done with it unless you give it to the players to, to, to do things in it. And that's definitely very true. The other quick point I wanted to make was, um, uh, yeah, I mean, as far as things like scale and being out of this world and the features go, it will inevitably be an iterative process. Can you wait that music? Yeah. It will inevitably be an iterative process because it very much is like gardening. It's a new frontier. It's more like gardening than architecture. You shouldn't even try to have a blueprint. You plant, you have an idea, you plant things, they grow the way they grow, and you prune and you shape. You can't be locked into a, this is exactly how it needs to be, and I'm going to go top down. And I think, yeah, the opportunity there for that is really enormous. It's like the Garden of Eden in many ways. Right? Yeah. Starting from scratch. I've got to run, but one question, this has been though, great. One quick question. So, I know it's not, it doesn't make sense to have a multiplayer across uh, E2v1, but would it be possible to have like one particular location where there could be multiplayer in one uh, small so, spot? Okay. That's how we would probably yeah, right? start. Well, Wait. I, sorry, I really need to run because I'm waiting okay. for Thank but you I'll so much. You, yeah, absolutely. It's great to meet you guys. It's so good to meet you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. I look forward to seeing you. Yeah, it's on Twitter Live. <laughs> yeah, like 200 people watching already. <laughs> um, sorry, what was the question? Uh, do you lost. think it'll be possible for us to just oh, at okay. least have one location where we so, all go and that's like the small little so test the, set? The, the issue isn't the... the like having the multiplayer on a world scale. That's oh, not the okay. issue. We can, you can go anywhere and play multiplayer right now. But handling right? very... Oh. But 
That's something that we will stress test internally with the applicants first. Okay. So it's not something we just want to throw out uh, initially. As I was, as I mentioned earlier, just seeing you guys with your reactions and stuff yesterday. So many more requests too. Um, you know, I, I We've just, been getting I comments kind of, all yeah. night. Yeah. I can speak, I think they were I so speak, happy. It, yeah, it's, the majority it, of the people in would say that if, just getting something live, even if it's not multiplayer. I'm surprised you're surprised about that. Though. I am surprised. I mean, we like, as you guys know, we were kind of pushed into a corner by a lot of the That's, negativity yeah, sure. online. So um, I think because of that, I think because of that negativity, it kind of it pushed us into a corner to think, right? Okay, when we release something, it has to be like super crisp. It has to, you know, it has to have X, Y, Z. If it doesn't, then you know, people are going to jump on top of that and drive that negativity and drive that criticism. And that's been a very unfortunate experience for us. I think. It's colored your whole that, view. Yeah, had that not happened, then maybe we would have had a. You know, we probably would have been a little bit more open in, in providing that access a bit earlier. Uh, but yeah, because of that, I guess just because of that, um, those occurrences, it made us a little bit gun shy to, to share too much because of the fact we knew that it would be taken out of context. Um, you know, they probably so, focus on one little thing inside the Sounds like you've been bill. burned and you don't want to. Yeah, we've been burned again. a lot. But. <coughs> But you know, as Rash said, I mean, he had a he had a pretty good point. Like, if you if you're releasing, um, yeah, if you release it too late, uh, then that's also an issue. We want to maybe we need to get our players into EQV1, get their hands on it, even if it's just exploring and looking at the maps and just not you know just seeing that it all works as you guys have Twitter feed and Discord and everything. The messages is. They can't really believe how, like, you're able to go to your tiles and see that. They would yeah. be, they would so much like to have that rather than just not, yeah. to not having it. So I think, yeah, that, that would be huge to, yeah, it, to it get that access. Yeah, it has made me kind of reassess yeah. things. So it's uh, interesting, you know, you guys coming down and, 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 you know, playing around with it. Did, it let <laughs> me see it from, we've actually had some people walk past here over the last couple of days. And uh, there was a very funny incident uh, yesterday. I think it was. I was uh, I was chatting to I can't remember who, but I was chatting to somebody, and this guy walked past, and he, he looked at it, and he said, "I've got tiles in that." No, no way! Yeah, wow. Yeah, he bought fifteen thousand dollars worth of tiles. He no said, way. "I've got tiles in that." No. And then I turned around to him. He goes, "Oh, <laughs> like, oh awesome!" <laughs> That was a, that That's was a, a good pretty, story pretty for interesting, sure. um, that. pretty interesting uh, little occurrence. That must but, have made you so happy too. Yeah, was, so just and then other people too. Other because they weren't even up, expecting it. Yeah, other people have come up and play, and I've kind of tried to help them and say, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I've got, I've got tiles for this." Yeah. You realize who you're talking to, right? Yeah, no, they didn't realize. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, but um, and I didn't tell them. <laughs> so, but. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been pretty cool in that regard. And as I said, you guys coming down and just seeing your reaction from what we have has made me kind of rethink uh, about whether or not we, we try and get something out there for people to just start I think. looking around. Yeah. I think everybody just needs to understand that it is a work in progress. It's not something you know we. The pressure that we've been under over the past three years has had has had some effect internally um, but you also have to remember like game development is not easy and we're creating a one to one scale earth so it is we're only three years in it is very very much a work in progress and uh, yeah it's something that I think our community is certainly understanding that it's not going to be an yeah, overnight that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be the not, issue yeah it's not yeah, going to be something yeah. that happens overnight uh, and just game developers in in general kind of understand this. There there are certain people who like to paint things in a different way to kind of get attention online. But um, you know we've had we've had Unity come over some of their senior devs. We've had other game developers who have come by. We've had producers of games uh, that I've spoken with. We've had uh, marketers, and they they were all shocked. They they said like, how long have you been? making this for like five ten years and they were all shocked that we're like into three years absolutely shocked they could not believe that we have this in that period of time 
and that was a that that was kind of reassuring to me. Uh, it was uh, a, yeah, a little bit of a relief to know that we're doing a really good job. <laughs> I just think it's, there's so many yeah. the community and everything is so passionate, and just getting them that access, seeing being able to just see your tiles is yeah, initially I so. just I think you that's a big thing. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, it has made me rethink all of this. So you never know. Maybe the maybe we'll release something a little bit earlier where there people we go, can guys. where people can log in and just go and see your tiles. Yeah, see, see what it looks like. Yeah. So yeah. long as everybody promises to keep in mind that it's a work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> well, can we go and see some more tiles? Yeah. Is there anywhere? Pop in new here. That anybody wants to have? If you guys wanted to see um, this view, so I'll just record here for a while. I hope my audio is going through. Do you know if my live stream had audio? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's true. Are you upside down? drive a bit of interest as well in the project anyway uh, but ideally the, the idea for that pre-alpha really was to have multiplayer so people could kind of interact and have something to do right from the beginning right from the right from the offset the last thing we want is like to probably release into v1 and then push it at scale um, and then people come into it without something to do uh, you know, who don't understand the concept. So that, yeah, it's something that I'll need to consider and, and juggle around. I do have a couple of questions from the community. Sure. So, uh, you ready to get grilled? <laughs> I, I get grilled all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no, that should be all right. Uh, somebody's asking if the white paper is still uh, coming by. Uh, here we go. I, was so, I wasn't going to do it. I was not going to do the white paper. I got to be the guy. I got to be the guy. <laughs> uh, by the 31st of March, white paper. Can you can make a whatever you can say. <laughs> yeah, you got like I mean, yeah, nothing's really changed at this stage. So yeah, yeah, we we'll, we will release something. There we go. Um, and I'm sure everybody will be quite happy with the details yeah, of like what that, that is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a really really yeah. crazy month. Um, I, I, I knew it. a little while ago that we, we, there's a chance we might come here. I was still undecided yeah. uh, whether or not we would come, but um, it's kind of it's ended up being last minute decisions. This has been a crazy month. If you look at like thinking back to the start of March, I can't even remember. We just released the Yellow Energy. Yep. We released um, the land upgrade, and 
the land upgrade itself is, is a, a monumental. It's a, it's a big upgrade. Uh, it looks very simple online, but it's actually very complicated. All the back end and having everything linked to like an external token price. Absolutely. So we've released that. Um, we've obviously released like multiple skins. I think we've done we've done something else. Uh, we have another big update that's kind of been been pushed back a little bit. Uh, hopefully, I'm still hoping that comes out in March. But that is a that's like been in development for ten months. Yeah. So it's a it's a huge huge update uh, from like a specific team. Uh, waiting for that to come out, and we've put in, you know, we've come here to GDC on top of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, we've got this um, this white paper release stuff and everything on the agenda. So yeah, this month has just. I, I, I should have probably tallied my sleep through this month. I, I don't even want to think about what it was. This month has been absolutely insane. So we're trying to do the best we can. And, um, yeah, it's still going to try to adhere to that kind of guideline. But there'll definitely be news that comes out this month that everybody would, should be pretty happy with. Awesome. Yeah, specific details that you guys should be pretty happy with. When I get, I see that, what I, what I get from the community is most people in Earth 2 are kind of like for the game element. There's people who like to make money who like the crypto side of things. And I don't think there's really like a content creator actually who's like deep in the crypto who knows non custodial wallets who don't want you know point based stuff like that. So uh, if you're actually going to get into Essence, I'm going to try my best and make sure that everybody actually gets ramped up and have knowledge into a cryptocurrency and Essence. I mean, obviously, I follow the company first. I'm not really affiliated with their team. I'm just a big mega fan Ari <laughs> right, has a lot of good stuff on his channel about crypto as well in case you want to go follow him yeah, on YouTube because the community may not be all that in depth with crypto that you leading up to the release the release and hand holding and stuff is that still I have I have seen comments about that online and I, I did make a note I wanted to maybe reply to some of those but I always get sidetracked on other things so I'm glad you brought it up it's definitely something that we have put a lot of consideration into this this kind of hand holding and it's something that we've also spoken to our lawyers about um, just about like how, you know what what we do and like to what extent I think people will probably have a better understanding when details come out on the white paper but uh, it's definitely yeah I'm not sure how far we can and should go to educate people because we we could also make mistakes on what to do and we don't want to have any kind of liability in that regard the landscape's changing um, so much the landscape changes so like something we we advise today could be accurate yep. but then, then next later. week it's not yeah. or a month Especially later it's not and we don't moments. and you know we don't want to well number one we don't want to kind of put people in a position where they're making decisions based on what we tell them because obviously people have a lot of trust in our company we don't want to we don't want to say something that ends up being incorrect um and as you said the landscape changes so quickly so uh definitely it, it will probably be something that people have to do their own due diligence make their own decisions um i can say at this stage that you probably should get like a metamask wallet yep. something like that yep. as a good start as a good starting yep. point and then yeah build on it from there what do you do uh this is probably a hard question to ask but uh with uh, australia and essence and everything and then the uh, security exchange and gary gensler always changing rules and blah 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 like how does that how does earth 2 combat with like an ever-changing american climate to cryptocurrency yeah again it's a yeah. you know uh uh, America, I think the, the SEC here are going to make a number of decisions over the like, next 6 to 12 months. Nobody knows which direction any of that's going to go. Uh, something that we all need to keep. We, we need to keep an eye on it. Obviously, there's, there's big interest from... Um, you know some of the big funds around. In, the Bitcoin you know, ETFs Bitcoin, being approved yeah, was a ETFs huge thing. And everything. So... I think they'll hopefully some, create into the pressure because everyone knows crypto exactly. is where so everyone's moving. They're, prob they're, just, they're probably just feeling their way through and, and deciding what to do. Um, Sorry, I'm helping myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just, um, 
the idea of the no, you're, uh, the idea is uh, that we just we all stick our phones like, <laughs> like, record you. That's amazing. That's why I like I stopped me in my tracks. You can um, yeah, you can play with it. You can go anyway. Here's the here's the um, Look at this. Yeah, you just hold that down. Uh, you, you can press so walking by, saw it. Think it's it's amazing. You can go anywhere. Just testing it out. Yeah. 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 goes right down to like a blade of grass. Really? Yeah, you can um, hit the shift and double your stroke. Uh, and right mouse, right, uh, right mouse, it should have it. Wow! And then you can like drop an avatar. And, uh, F2 is that. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. So it's a completely uh, playable uh, you know, we've, we've obviously got. <laughs> You're actually pretty good. Going downhill <laughs> through trees. That's that's good. Um, uh, wow, that is actually really good for the first first try. Um, so yeah, the, obviously collisions across the entire planet, 510 million square kilometers, uh, the entire planet, that's virtual. Amazing. And you saw how fast it was. So yeah. it's like instantly streamed, that's seamless. Wow, that is good. Yeah. Are you big into Web3 gaming? I'm sorry? Are you big into Web3 gaming? Uh, not so much Web3. I just, I play everything. Where you're like, I'm always trying. You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was wondering about the Web3 portion. Seems like you're really into gaming. This is very cool. Have you seen anything like this where you have like an exact duplicate of the real world in a I mean, game? I've, I've seen some geolocation. Yeah. Times, but like nothing at, at, not like, like this. this yeah this is another level this is very amazing so players actually own land you can see here that's a mentor yeah. that means somebody has actually reserved that land we're building, the like, we're building a geolocational metaverse okay. so it's like a, it, it will be a persistent world over time where people own land mine resources uh, build infrastructure, build experiences, battle, socialize, shop, earn. all of that type of stuff. This is like the platform we've been developing it for three years. Um, and the next phase is to kind of release this later this year to get uh, our community and players hands on the product. You can also spawn an avatar. Yeah, you can spawn an avatar yeah. by hitting F2. And then um, if you hit E a couple of times and hit it again, you can do some target practice just to show we've got some physics and you know some some, some combat. Yeah, you just go your yeah, AWS your normal. <laughs> you are, you are oh my goodness. For a first, for a first I know. I like, <laughs> you gotta get a high score. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I should have told you that. You also have 300 people watching you play. Yeah. <laughs> Probably more no, across no all of us. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, gentlemen. Just come up and wants to try. The entire community, <laughs> community watching just Yeah, we own land in it too, so we just came down to kind of see it firsthand. Uh, <laughs> That's because you paused. <laughs> Sorry, too, I'm like all up in you, girl. <laughs> Is that like, you know, you'll see the buildings and everything? 
No, you can't. Like you can see them fairly close. Not, they won't be like. No, it's a it's a pristine world. So the idea is that players will rebuild it. So once you get in, it's like it's back to the beginning of time. I think. It, I love the transition. It's kind of yeah, and it it, it has a. I don't know, it has an interesting feeling to reset the world. Uh, obviously, people will probably rebuild in these populated areas, but they also might find somewhere in the middle of nowhere and build like a mega city or something like that. So it'll be interesting to see what what people come up yeah, with. Yeah, and they'll probably go off in a direction we've never even gone. Exactly. Before. Yeah, we we don't even know yet. So our our goal is to provide a platform. And then provide initial access and kind of see which direction it goes from there. Yeah, very much a work in progress. Thanks for the demo. I'm no, totally you're totally blown away. Welcome. Totally blown away. This is amazing. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm always going to do stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. We'll do game server hosting. Game server hosting. Yeah. I'm already talking to Dave over there, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to grab one of these for sure. Well, this is, um, yeah, so we're kind of working on that in Metagravity. So this is our solution. We okay. built this. Metagravity partners with them recently to see what we can do with uh, massive online recovery. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like a bit of a match made in heaven. We have this massive open virtual world. They have a um, uh, very cool technical solution. Partners built there. But uh, yeah, if you have a business model, yeah, that's it. Uh, That's nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, James. Awesome. Somebody that doesn't know anything about him, seeing how yeah, impressed they were. Yeah. Like I'm, 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 glad he, I'm glad he stuck around with all the cameras. I know, I thought he'd run. Oh, he did pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> he might be like, oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> I, know, I wonder if we're scaring a lot of people away, too. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I do have one yeah. question. This is straight from Aussie One. You know him, Aussie right? One, Aussie yes. One. Okay. Here's, here's an idea. Um, he said, if you... He's got a lot of ideas. He has a lot of ideas. But he's very good. Yeah. yeah. I, I like a lot of he ideas. He has a lot of good ideas, for sure, Aussie One. Uh, ideas for a mini-game. A world-exploring with fog-of-war type system. So the user can see on a map what parts of the world they have never visited. And they could have a leaderboard, trophy for different percentage levels. And then turn just turns the roaming into a fun competition. Yeah, that's a great idea. There I you like go. That. There you yeah, go. I mean, awesome. maybe it could be like a, a toggle system. Yeah, for sure. But that is that's a good idea. Just have to think about it on a data level. Right. Because, yeah, that could be bad for me. Because the world is so big, we'd have to take care. Once, um, let's, just say, let's just say we've got a million players for example at some point. Uh, each player has traveled X space over this 510 million square kilometer world. We've got to store that information yeah. somehow <laughs> for every single player yeah. to know where they have and haven't been. So um, I like the idea, but like I like. Uh, from a technical standpoint, there could be some issues right, just from the top of my head. Right. However, maybe it'd be good for like even on a property size uh, in real time. So it's not something that we have to store persistently on a database, but something that we could maybe apply to on a property level, maybe to let people do like an egg hunt or something on a property. Because yeah, a 750 yeah. car property is quite large. Yeah. Um, and if that's done in real time, and we just store it client side in the actual instance, we don't have to sync that data um, consistently. Then yeah, that could be a, that could be something very feasible. So it's a it's a good good underlying idea. Maybe have to tweak it a little there bit. There you go. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Yeah. More ideas. Other questions? I don't have a lot my stream. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, kind of cryptocurrency related. So, of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> Answer whatever you can. <laughs> it says, uh, if you're having a native crypto wallet inside R2 that is connected to Dex wallets. Yeah, again, like as I mentioned earlier, um, we have to, you know, we, we need to be very careful with the type of solutions that we provide um, as far as the token's concerned. 
I, I am approaching the release of our token with the utmost caution. Um, so yeah, it, you know, I wouldn't. We wouldn't have an internal Web three wallet. Uh, as I said earlier, maybe definitely look at something like MetaMask for now. Uh, you know, they, they've been developing their wallet over a long period of time. They're very secure in that regard compared to you know most of the other wallets out there. Would you have so, an integration with Warm X Y Z or Delegate Cash? Because those are good ways to not connect your wallet and still protect it. I think we'll look at those later. We we have so for this for this initial token launch, I, Fresh I'm kind of trying to go towards simplicity. The more you add, the more things that can go wrong. So the system I have in mind is kind of, as I said, I'm leaning on the on the on caution or being cautious in every single way possible uh, and keeping it simple. And then over time, we'll expand on top of that and we'll, you know, we'll um, add more things in for convenience. But just want to get the base version out, get it working. The core purpose of launching this token is to give our players somewhere to externally trade assets. So we got to remember that's the core purpose. And as long as we're achieving that, then we're achieving our first step in the direct in the Web three. Would you integrate like Wallet Guard, a partnership or something like Sorry? that? Would you be able to have like Wallet Guard kind of have a partnership so that people know about it and they can know if they're connecting to the site that it's legitimately Earth two? Because I know the biggest part of crypto downfall is that so many wallets get drained and people just connect to sites and one of the things I've noticed especially on Twitter is you'll have your main account and you'll have a link or anything yeah, so we're, we're, or even if you don't put a link then you have accounts that are scam accounts that have blocked those main accounts so they don't see anything that's being posted below and they'll say here's a free giveaway and people connect to those and their wallets get drained. Yeah, I think we've had our little dino bot in the Discord and obviously we'll be... Yeah, I've seen that. That's a good addition. About that. Like, yeah. Just don't click links outside. Most likely, the, like, well, you know, you'll find out more details when we release them, but there'll be some kind of system where you log into your own tool account. There'll be okay. 2FA, you link your wallet through your actual settings... And yeah, you don't touch anything outside or links in. So then everyone knows. Don't even touch like those that. links. Yeah, Perfect. you've got your wallet. Log into your account. Go to your settings. Connect your wallet with 2FA. As I said, I'm leaning on. I want to keep it as simple as possible to make sure we have as little as possible to keep our eyes on uh, with as much security and you know those steps to. Uh, yeah, without going, I mean, I'd have to go into all the details to explain how it would work. But there, there will be processes to safeguard, even, even getting your essence out of Earth Two onto the exchanges. There'll be processes that will probably involve things like two FA. Might even have KYC initially. So, you know, we're trying to make this as secure as possible to yeah. avoid any kind of uh, potential. Hacks or leaks. Yeah, I think that's kind of the biggest. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we don't want that. Problem. Like, we yes, want to so. protect our community from yeah. that. We want to keep it simple, uh, and then we'll we'll add to it over time. You know, we look at. I've got a lot of contacts with centralized exchanges and things like that, but we'll, I just want to see how the the decks goes. Just keep it simple in the beginning. I'm a big fan of this whole decentralization in the Web three space. Um, you know, we, we saw what happened with FTX and some of these examples. Uh, yeah, it would be devastating to go to a centralized exchange. You don't know what is around the corner for these guys. Oh, yeah. It would be devastating to go with any kind of centralized exchange and then have something occur and our players lose all their essence, for example. So, yeah, trying to keep everything kind of the, the, the main core focus of Web3, the decentralization. We're trying to use that tech initially and see how that goes. Uh, community member Trav. I think that's how we say his name. Trav! Trav, yeah. <laughs> I always think of Trav and Viking together. Right? <laughs> he, he was saying uh, if you'd ever have an open office in Brisbane for community members go in and see the team or you or the office because you did that once on YouTube and yeah. actually have to like physically go there <laughs> yeah I, um, I don't know like maybe when we get to some yeah. size it's just 
yeah, so, um, you know, I think we're obviously here, we're at GDC showing yeah. things. And it might be a bit weird to have people coming through the office <laughs> yeah, uh, right. at different times. You know, we obviously we want Earth Two to become a big thing. Yeah. Uh, so who knows? Maybe we'll have like a, a headquarters somewhere that that we're, where we have all of our stuff. The other the other thing is we have a lot of uh, staff members, all team members, all over the world. Yeah, yeah. So we have a lot of team members in Europe. We have some in Australia, like Brisbane, Sydney. Uh, we have some in Asia. We have a few through America. Um, we have some in South America. So they're kind of all over the world. You've got to remember, we we built this cool team during COVID when the whole world was locked down. Uh, and to, to, to build this kind of world, you need specific talent. So it's not, you know, it's not like somebody you can source just like in a city or go to a random place and you're always going to find someone. What did you think about uh, Tyler's uh, E2Mania physical site that he has? Like, uh, it's not even was, a storefront, it's like a community yeah, that, meetup that was kind of. absolutely insane. I loved it. It's just, it's Is that UA? I will, when I'm in Seoul next, I'm going to show up there and, and Tyler. say hello. <laughs> Shane's going to come visit you personally. Yeah. Find your place it's that very, everyone very loves. Cool. <laughs> Do you have any plans once we get closer to the launch of like people that may not have logged in since 2021 to contact them, to let them know that, hey, this is coming this is coming back, and you need, if you have, a, have mentors or people that may not even be around recently? Yeah. Um, it, we don't, it's not... The, the strategy's not 100% set in place yet. So, at some point, yes, we will definitely remind people about, about what's going on, but um, the other side of things is launching this this token uh, you know, there's a process to it in my opinion I'd like to do it with kind of a I know there'll be a lot of interest as it gets closer but I'd like to do it with the least amount of people as possible to start so we have you know just in case something goes wrong we don't want double, triple those, those number of people yeah, having so they, that experience. So if they were here in 2021 and haven't come back, that's their loss. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can't say that we haven't posted social right, updates, right. we've got news on the side, it's not like, yeah, we've never ever sent one email out, ever, on a, you know, to, directly to email, we've never sent any kind of update marketing. You join some sites and they're like, as soon as you give their... You, as soon as you give them your email address, they're like, bang, 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 bang. You know, you've got five emails that day. Hey, yeah, we walked out the door. Hey, you know, we walked back in again. So, yeah, we've never even sent one email to any of our, our uh, user base yet. But, you know, it, we probably do periodic updates once everything's fairly stable. And, yeah, we'll let people know about the token. So, I, my, my guess is that... Yeah, the token will launch. I don't know. We'll, we'll probably see some activity on that. We'll make sure everything looks okay. It could take a few weeks. We'll, we'll monitor everything, make sure everything's functioning fine. And then after a few weeks, uh, if everything's stable and, and looking good, yeah, maybe we'll, we might start updating people. And that's pretty much how it's operated all along, just test stuff and then yeah. put up, up, update later. So. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it works. Like, we're getting better at it. We're getting a lot better at it than, say, 2021 or 2020. But, um, uh, yeah, 2022. We're improving, but there's always, when you do something new, technology, development, programming, you don't know what could go wrong. You can't predict everything. You can QA the best you can, uh, but on D Day, yeah, Ronald's brilliant. Yeah, he is, uh, oh, he, he is absolutely brilliant, that guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, after Ronald came on, QA has definitely improved. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen that a Yeah. Uh, but having said that, on D-Day, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm sure as it stands right now, there's already going to be enough pressure, enough people kind of anticipating the release as it stands without us doing any kind of big marketing or advertising like you know any emails directly to it we'll probably do some awareness like marketing and whatever but, but probably not on a large scale initially 
any dev vlog possibilities again? Sorry? Dev the vlogs that you done a few years back? Yeah, so the dev vlogs, they're great. They're great, but they take time. Yeah. And what we realized is that you know, the time we spent making a dev vlog, we could have been spending on progressing and, and doing other... So, I mean, that that is maybe one reason that we've come so far in three years because we we did the devlogs we know that you know the community it's love them which see, is great yeah. um, but at the same time it delays progress it delays development because you have to have developers say okay what are we you know you got developers who they like coding they like doing you know focusing on products and you, but you've got to get them to say okay what are we showing explain it you know what what are the details uh, you know give us some footage of what you're doing and all that type of stuff so it's good but it slows down development which is why you haven't seen it for a while yeah. you, know, you mentioned before also the stage two likely is not to return do you have any yeah, oh no. really stage two is going away it's been it's, it's, it's been gone away for a while. oh i didn't even know that yeah i always um, wait for a tag from yena kissy about stage two stuff. Uh, stage, stage two is hiding. Stage two is hiding. There we go. Somewhere yeah. big things come in. in the last <laughs> thing. I mean, I, I see it. Maybe I, I don't know anything. I don't have any links or anything, but I just see a lot of stuff happening in the next two or three months. Yeah, we're, always, like, yeah, we're monitoring that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, I've always admired uh, Thomas. He's the one for two in the background um, yeah he's working in the background yeah. Yeah, I thought true. I heard his voice in the blue group yeah, yeah probably, on there yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might, have, you might have heard that good ear <laughs> cool. yeah. Thomas is around nice to meet you yep I'm ready for questions huh did you get all the questions I think so should we give you a break now let's all yeah, yeah, my let's voice. all end yeah. this <laughs> Yeah, Thanks voice so is much. Becoming quite coarse. <laughs> we'll cut off for a while, guys. I'm sure you all enjoy. Oh, it. there uh, we hey, go. Everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys, for asking all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks, all right. guys. See you guys. Here we go. Thanks. We are in the hall. We're going to track down Shane. Here he is. Wow, we did it. Woohoo! With Aria. That <laughs> is. That's crazy. <laughs> I like that. Uh-oh. Hey, didn't I? Yeah. Can I have my hat? Smile, Kurt. We all. Personally by Shane. Drew found another Earth 2 user. He stopped when he saw his shirt. Joined December 2020. No, this is not I what the cinematic wall would be what the traditional game would be and if the ownership